Hey guys, welcome to another race tutorial. This week I want to talk about the sidechain and we have to be a little bit more specific because there are two sidechains actually in uh, Razer. We have in Logic uh, this one at the uh, top right where it says sidechain and in Ableton you can find it as well that is going to be the normal sidechain and we have this sidechain here at the bottom. So to demonstrate what they both do, play the sound first. Now the rhythmic effect that you hear, that is because of the normal sidechain. Because the normal sidechain is listening to bus 25. And if we go over here, we can see that I have a synth set up, which is going to bus 25. And by itself, it's, that synth sounds like this. I don't want to hear that, I just want to use that for the sidechain of Razer. So I send that to bus 25 and then inside Razer I choose bus 25 and then I choose the vocoder module. And that's gonna, um, you can see the input right here. So now the vocoder is listening to that other sound. So that is the first option for sidechain, but the second one, um, we find that at the bottom here and we have two modulators here and one modulator is um, modulating or controlling the the amount or the range of the other modulation so if I disable this side chain right here I'll just say none and then I'll choose a different module for example the Lopez <laughs> disable this for now so now we just have a normal sound um, and when I go over to this first modulation slot right here um, I have this option right here and it says you, you can see it says sidechain but you can see an envelope and an LFO so that refers to these that you choose here so I'm gonna choose envelope 2 and then I'm gonna choose LFO 2 that's fine and now envelope 2 is gonna um, control the range of LFO, of LFO 2 so you can see it when you look at this cutoff knob you can see it um, see it's very short and after it doesn't modulate anymore so if I set the decay a bit higher then LFO 2 a bit faster Also, let it uh, rise. And of course, I can let it sustain uh, forever. And then it's just going to be a normal LFO on the on the cutoff. So this has some great uses. You can make some cool effects with it. Um, you can uh, listen to velocity. So um, it gives for a very playable sound. I can use it on the uh, Centra effects, for example, and I'll disable it here for now. And we can choose a different wave, maybe more of a random wave. Like this one. And let's try it on the pitch as well. So you can uh, get some cool variation with that. And uh, another thing that you can do with this is if you um, turn these off so you click on the envelope right here you you can change those and I'll set it to none and then I'll click LFO2 and I'll set it to none as well now this is kinda weird because we do have the side chaining there but it has no modulator modulators assigned so now this um, becomes just a macro control and I can MIDI learn this um, like so and then I can control 
a lot of parameters at the same time to make sort of a morphing sound so I can set it to the filter I can set it to the uh, pulse width here and then play the sound and then I have just one knob to control one knob to rule them all <laughs> to control uh, multiple knobs um, I can set it to this cutoff to this boost So that will uh, be just the same as using these macros, except that you now have one in the interface right here, um, which is pretty handy. So I hope that clears something, um, something up about this little module and how to use it, and see you next week.